In this video, we'll be learning how to set up all the software you need to start a Bitcoin miner. In this part of the video, we'll be downloading everything we need to start a Bitcoin miner. Now you're going to click the first link in the description of this video. Once you do that, you're going to click Angry IP Scanner. You're going to press this link here and wait for it to download. Then we're going to go back to this page and click on Raspy and Jesse. Then we're going to press Download Zip. Since this file is around 1.3 gigabytes, it might take a little bit longer than the IP scanner. Once we have these files downloaded, we have to uncompress them. First, double click the zipped IP scanner file. Then, double click on the Raspberry Pi file. In this part of the video, we'll be creating an account on the Slushpool website. So you're going to click on the second link in the description. Here you're going to create an account. Please note that once you press register now, you'll be sent a verification email. And in order to access your account, you must verify it first. After your verification, you'll be able to log in. We're going to press the workers tab. As you can see, I've already set up two workers, but we'll cover this in a later video. Now we need to create a new worker. Now you can call this worker whatever you'd like, but since I already have two workers that are running, I'm gonna name mine slush3. After you've named your worker, press create. In this part of the video, we'll be installing the operating system on the Raspberry Pi. The first thing you need to do is insert your SD card into your Mac. Then you're gonna open up terminal and type in diskutil list. Here it will show all of the disks attached to your computer. Now you need to find the disk you want to install the image on. In my case, it's disk two, but it may be different for you. Once you've identified the disk you want to install the image on, you want to type in diskutil unmount disk with a capital D slash dev slash, and in my case, disk2. If you did everything right, you'll get a little message here saying that the job was completed and how long it took. And then you're going to have to go to the description of this video and copy this string here. And then you're going to want to paste it into some sort of word processing document. I chose text editor. Now we're going to go up to our image and right click. We're going to press get info and then copy the name of the document. Then we're going to paste this name after document slash. Then at the very end, type the disk number that you want to install the image on. In my case, it's disk two. Now you're going to copy the entire string onto your clipboard and paste it into your terminal. Then you're going to press enter. Sometimes it asks you to enter a password. In that case, you'll just enter the password you use to log into your computer. If you don't have a password to log into your computer, just press enter. Once it's finished, you'll get a little message like this telling you how long it took. Now you can eject your disk and remove it from your Mac. Once you've done that, you can insert it into your Raspberry Pi. If you're unsure how to set up all of the components, take a look at my first video explaining how to do that. In this part of the video, you're going to learn how to access your Raspberry Pi using a shell from your Mac computer. What we're going to do first is open up Angry IP Scanner. If you're opening this for the first time, it might be untrusted by the computer. In this case, just right click it and then press open. Once you have the program open, just press start. This application will list out all of the devices on your local network. What's also important about it is that it shows the device's local IP address, which is what we need for the Raspberry Pi. Once it's finished scanning, you're going to look for the hostname Raspberry Pi Local. In my case, I already have a Raspberry Pi hooked up to the local network. So I need to look for Raspberry Pi Local 2. But unless you already have a Raspberry Pi in your local network, you only need to look for Raspberry Pi Local. Keep this application running and open up your terminal. What you're going to do now is type in SSH Pi at sign and then the local IP of your Raspberry Pi. After pressing enter, you might get a message like this. Just type yes, and then press enter. After doing this, you'll be asked to enter the password for the Raspberry Pi in. By default, this is Raspberry. So just type in Raspberry, and then press enter. If everything was done right, your terminal should look like this. Once you're in your Raspberry Pi, you're going to go to the fourth link in the description. 
Then you're going to scroll down to the post by AJ Weller 88. Now you're going to update your Raspberry Pi to the latest version. Now go over here and copy sudo apt-get update. Then you're going to paste this in your terminal and press enter. Once that's over, you're going to go back over to this tab and copy sudo apt-get upgrade. Then paste it into your terminal and press enter. Then you'll get a message like this. Just type Y and then press enter. This might take a fairly long time depending on your internet speeds, so be patient. Next, you're going to copy this and paste it into your terminal. After that's finished loading, now we're going to be downloading CG Miner. This is the software that you're going to be mining Bitcoin from. So we're going to copy this string, including the link. We're going to paste it into our Raspberry Pi terminal. Once that's done, we're going to change our directory to CG Miner. After that, we are going to copy and paste these remaining four strings one after another. Also, keep in mind, after one of these four strings, it may seem like nothing is happening. If this happens to you, don't worry and just be patient. In this part of the video, you'll be learning how to run CG Miner and actually start mining Bitcoins. Now, whenever you want to start this program, what you're going to need to do is log on to your Raspberry Pi through your local network using a shell like we talked about earlier. Type CD CG Miner, enter, and then in the description of this video, you'll find this string here. This is very important because this is the string that you're going to use to run CG Miner. Copy and paste this into a text document, and then you're going to look for the word username in all caps. You're going to delete that and replace it with your username, dot, your worker name. In my case, it's tangerblockchainco, dot, slush three. After that, you're going to find the word password in all caps, and you're going to replace it with anything. A-N-Y-T-H-I-N-G. After finishing that, you're going to copy this entire string and paste it into your terminal. After pressing enter, if all goes well, you should see CG Miner booting up. Once the word accepted keeps popping up all over the page, it means your Raspberry Pi has started mining. Up at the top here, you can see the block number that you're mining, your hash rate, and your average hash rate. Once CG Miner is running in your terminal, you can feel free to close the window. Your Raspberry Pi will keep running this program until it's either powered off or loses internet connection. Thank you for watching.